Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I'm out country junkin' today. Um, the lake country junkin'. So I'm trying to get over to a town that I go to every year called Painesville. There is a woman there who runs a garage sale every weekend. It's an older lady. I just wanna see if she made it through the winter. Doesn't mean she'll be open today, but you know, usually if she is. I just wanna check on her. Found a sign for a moving sale, I think. Because I got there 10 minutes too late. There's another lady there, she's a picker. And she got the old box of shiny brights. I got a newer box of shiny brights. But, and she also got all the Tupperware. I'm like, oh, darn it. So, <laughs> I know she's a picker because of what she was buying. But then, um, I should have grabbed the juicer. There was like a, one of the stand juicers for $2. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna look around and come back. And then I grabbed some amber glass. I grabbed um, a candlestick that's from Norway. It's gold. It's got, I had a one that's similar that my grandma had that I bought. That I'm keeping, but this one's, it'll sell in my booth. And then uh, they had the most epic free table. All items on this table were free. So I got a 1950s, 60s Can Can Crenoline. And I got um, a pair of Lucite shoes from the 1950s. I'm like, um, this girl who's a picker kind of missed out on the free table. She also missed the lids, the Tupperware lids that were on the uh, free table. I snagged those. And a really cool beer stein, or like, it, it's a, a thermoserve mug. Like stein. There's the house down there. Let's see if she made it through the winter. I'm looking for my perpetual garage sale at this point. Let's see if she's, if she's available. Is she, is she alive? It's not, oh, there's a grate or something. Well, they're not open. So there's a good chance she didn't make it. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It makes me sad, actually, if she didn't make it. Um, trying to find other garage sales before that other picker does. I found a sign on a road to nowhere. So we are heading to nowhere. Now that's what I'm talking about. Got an oil painting for $5 <laughs> and a pin frog for 50 cents. I found another garage sale. Cutest place ever, this place. But I just, um, a lot of stamping stuff and you know, I don't have the best of luck with stamps, so I didn't buy anything. They had punches and I was looking for a specific punch. Um, did not find it. I would like to get a star punch, like a significant size star punch for a future project I've got in mind. She didn't have one, and I was like, oh, darn it, I'd have bought that in a heartbeat. I'm gonna find one. I am almost three towns down this road. I've gone over 100 miles now. I'm seeing that thing. I decided to pop into one of the towns and drive around the old part of town to see if I could find a sign in town like they didn't put it on the highway. Nope. It's like, no. Bought a lot of graduation, so. All right, I'm gonna check that last sign because there's nothing down here. I'll check the last sign and then I'm going home. I don't even care how many more signs I see. I'm so done. Most definitely time for me to go home. 
Okay, everyone. So we're back at the she shop and it's time for the haul video on the, you know, garage sale and do so great. There's not a lot. There's not a lot, but there's enough. You know what I want to start with is everything I got for free. Because the very first sale, the one that I was 10 minutes too late on, had a table full of free stuff. And there was another picker there, but she, I don't think, looked at the free table at all because I got some good stuff for free. So let's get this little guy out of here. I'm gonna show you him later. First of all, a can can from 1959 or 60 was free. The free kernel in. Oh, don't you dare. Okay. No, no. Hang on. I think I want to get this out of here. So let me show you this first. So at that one sale, this is the painting I got. It's okay. It's like a Bob Ross, right? It's not an actual Bob Ross. I don't know. Tom R. R. Tom. R. Thomas. R. Thomas. It's it, all right. For five bucks, it's going to make me a profit. Let me get this out of here so it doesn't get like a hole in it because the she shop is not conducive to oil paintings. <laughs> but the next thing I got for free were the shoes that probably went with the can-can. Yeah, they've seen better days because people wore their stuff, but they're in their original box. Uh, six, size six and a half. And they were free. I'm guessing there's some vintage fashion, fashionista somewhere that's going to want them. I mean, just the heel alone. Look at the heel. You know she looked like Cinderella in this thing. This is a total freaking Cinderella. Y'all. So that was free. But wait, there was more free. This was free. This is a thermal surf mug. And it says UBI artifacts. I don't even know what that means. Somebody else who's smarter than me might know what that means. I don't know. I just thought it was cool. It's a cool mug. And this was free. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You know what? This might be cute around Christmas time. Put a little tree, a little fake tree in. Um, you know, just kind of stage it in a little bucket. But for free, I'm taking it home to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Right? Because it's not bad. It's not hideous. I don't hate it. Wait, wait. I got the peeler for free too. So I thought Naomi could use this to make a beak out of, but I don't know if she wants it, but it was free. So I didn't care. Like if she doesn't want it, it's free. Goes to the thrift store. And then there's one more free piece. Where'd that go? Where'd that go? Well, bloody. Mm -mm. Okay. So it was a Tupperware lid for a, um, um, uh, the nesting set and I don't know where it is. It's probably under the seat of my car right now. So just imagine a lid for Tupperware. That was also free. Then I got some shiny braids. I got the 1980s shiny braids because I was 10 minutes too late for the ones that, uh, the older ones that the other picker got. And oh my gosh, good on her. Woo! Good on her for getting there. I don't begrudge her a darn thing. I was, you know, sick to my stomach because, oh, she got the good ones. She got the $50 box. Let's put it that way. You could sell that box that she had for $50 to $70. So good on her for getting those. Mine are more like a $10 set from the 1980s, but still I'll make a profit. You wanna know why? Cause this is a quarter. Quarter. <laughs> Love it. 
And there are more and more people that want the glass balls. Like, I want them like my grandma had, the glass bulbs. Well, the 80s were grandma, they're grandmas now. And then at the same sale, so she was a younger gal and she must not know these. So um, I've picked up something similar to this before. I kept it because it reminded me of the one my grandma had on her coffee table. These come from Norway. They're 24 karat gold plated. A little candle holder with the um, crystals on them. The only reason I know them is because my grandma had them. And hers were from Norway. That's a thing here. So it's a lot of Scandinavians in Minnesota and they like these things. And this was, this would be from Norway. So it was 10 cents too. I love this time of year. Had a, I think I mentioned that I had a conversation with my husband about whether or not I needed to get more inventory right now. And I'm like, yes, because 10 cents. 10 cents. <sighs> anyway, also at that sale, amber glass um, toothpick holder or match holder, some people call them. I don't know what brand this is. I did not look it up, but I know that I've had some luck with the toothpick holder match holder. You could even put a chunkier candle in there if you want to. It's just pretty amber glass. Amber glass. Love it. Let's stick that there. Woohoo. All right. Do they have anything else in here? Yes. Okay. So this was at the one where the oil painting came from. This is the flower frog. It's brand new. 50 cents pin frog. Uh, the two inch round. I'm not going to get as much money as I would get if they were powder coated in green, but it's still worth money. It's worth more than 50 cents at the shop. So that. And then last, but certainly not least, is more Christmas ornaments. An entire box for $1. You can see up here, box of tree ornaments. She had it for $1. There's a lot of handmade vintage ornaments in there. I know this is kind of creepy actually. Um, but you know, I can get about two bucks for an ornament. So if I get $2 out of one of these, I've done well. Bells. So it was a whole box of just, I didn't even go through it. I'm probably not going to go through it for you guys. I could put a book on every one of these and do well. Oh, look at, oh my God, he's so cute. Oh, he's made from a walnut shed like a little turtle with a top hat. Look how cute. I know. I love old Christmas ornaments. Oh, little rope ornament, little angels. They will all go in on the tree in the shop. Oh, 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 oh. we should just make some of these. Look it. It's a poodle. We should make one of these. You can get these bulbs, right? Like you can still get the ones with the silks on them. Look how cute he is. We could steal this idea, you guys, for Christmas this year. All right, we're going to make a plan. See how many of these ornaments we can steal. Oh, look at how cute with the bird feeder. It is an old communion cup. This is a plastic communion cup that they have made into a bird feeder ornament. That's recycling, y'all. A deer. Doe, a deer, a female deer. Oh, 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 don't rip, don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. Oh, 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 oh. oh felt ice skates. We can make these. There are paper clips for the blade. We could totally make these. Y'all. I can't make that. Victoria could. She does that crochet stuff now. This is easy a dollar. We could even just bundle some or do some grab bags. Let's open a heart. Ew. Oh, <laughs> it's a lollipop, but the plastic's like all 
they had to have been a smoker. So this angel is just made from a wooden dowel with a ball head and some lace. We could do that too. We could do that. Oh, another one. The little birdie one. Cute. I'm not going to go through the rest of these. I'm, I'm going to go through the rest of these, but not with you guys there. Oh. <laughs> Noel monkey. <laughs> oh my God. Gosh. Oh, little lamb. Little bears. And this one just says Merry Christmas, the handmade little Santa. Look at that one. That's a very cute one. I'm going to easily make my money back on this box. I mean, there's enough in here. Some of them I'm like, eh, they're probably just nothing. But there's enough in here where I'm like, yeah, I'll probably sell a couple of these easy. And uh, when they do, I will make back my $1 investment on my entire box. And then everything after that is gravy. But this I don't understand. I don't get it. Uh. <laughs> Looks like an alien creature to me. Uh, anyway, this is from 1983. This is from 1983. It says it's all on the bottom. And it's a communion wafer cup and some bird seeds. How cute is that? Very cute. I knew I forgot something. Okay, so this was also at the 10 minutes late garage sale. Um, this is a Pyrex, obviously. It's in really good shape. It's the only one she had. So I grabbed it because what I was thinking was, you know, it's Pyrex. It might not be the most popular brand right now or the popular pattern, but um, a lot of times somebody's missing the one bowl for their set. I might have that one bowl for you and it's in really good condition and it was 50 cents. So yeah, for 50 cents, it came home with me. And then this little guy was a quarter. <laughs> Two mom love Tammy. It's a moose. It's a quilty moose. So, you know, I got the quilty deer cornered, got the market cornered on quilty deer. They're all getting list listed um, this year online. And I think I, I was like, I got to have the quilty moose now. <laughs> yeah, that quilty moose had to come home with me. And actually the woman who was um, taking my money was the one who made the quilty moose. And she said, oh, I just wanted to be different and not do it in typical colors, typical Christmas colors. So she did it in the blue and white. And I'm really glad she did because look at that derpy face. That is one derpy, derpy face. Oh, so cute. All right. That's it. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy chunking. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.